In this movie, we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of nesting available within Route 5. And, and what we mean by different types is there are three different nesting algorithms. Uh, for the most part, they're going to do the same thing. So here I'm going to select my, my text, and, and then I just have some, some of the same text selected a, a few times and then multi-copied. Uh, I could just do this copying as part of the nesting, but in this case, I wanted to see a little bit about how, how much room this was taking up in advance. So here I'll go to the nesting uh, toolbar button, and under the shape nester, I have three different types, standard, new, and legacy. Standard is, is what we would consider advanced nesting, and then route three, and then route four. And this is a, a, a very good, powerful nesting algor algorithm. I'm going to nest my originals. I'll do a, a step angle of 90. We have a gap of 0.1, and I'll, I'll use holes here. And I'm going to say next to the middle left and apply. Okay, so we can see it and kind of gets everything rotated in here, gets some pieces interlocking. And if we come here and put a, uh, put a guideline out here, we'll put it about right on the border here where the cut is. Now, if I hit Control Z to undo this, go back to nesting, and I choose the new, new nesting in the middle. Again, we'll have a gap of 0.1 and a step angle of 90. You can see that it takes just a little bit longer. And it seems to, uh, for this particular application, do a good job here of uh, maybe even making it just a little bit more efficient. And if we hit Control Z here and go to the legacy nesting in the middle, We'll see it's a little faster, but uh, doesn't quite produce as an efficient as a result. So uh, in the case of nesting, sometimes different types of nesting would have a little different uh, way of handling a specific type of geometry. And it is to your advantage to have a few different options to be able to uh, choose to determine which one would prov provide the best result. And you just do that by changing here. Now, one thing to note about this is... Uh, one of the new capabilities is to nest around an obstruction. And here I'll just come and draw a little obstruction here. Now when I select both my, my text and my, my toolpaths along as well as the inside part here, I can go to uh, the nesting and if I choose new, the obstruction becomes active. So the use of an obstruction only works with, with the new nesting algorithm. And if I hit apply here, We will see that again, it will take a little bit longer, but we'll be able to nest outside of this particular shape here. So that's one of the new capabilities of in Route 5. Um, you'd be able to nest around a particular obstruction. Again, that works only with the new nesting algorithm. Uh, another interesting thing about the new nesting algorithm is that if you uh, wanted to, you can come here, select this, and choose more than one location as your your primary area that you want to focus on with the nesting. In this case, I chose the corners. And so by doing so, I was able to kind of orient things away from the middle. And uh, another one of note here would be that I could come and I could choose just the middle and center everything around the middle and radi out, radiate outwards from there which would be very helpful if I don't have very good vacuum hold down around the, the outermost edge of the part. So, uh, so these two different methods would give you a way to, to have a little bit different nesting than what you previously had within route. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can choose any, you know, any combination thereof. Now the remnant creation will work with any of the nesting methods. So if I come here and choose create remnant and go to the left middle, I should be able to nest accordingly. And uh, again, the, the new nesting uh, takes a little bit longer than the, than the other methods. And I would see that a remnant has been created here, which could then be used to, to nest other parts into. Uh, I would take this and rotate it 90 degrees. Oh, I need to do this to be 
70 degrees, so I'll do it another 180. And I can move this to the lower left-hand corner now and turn this plate into this uh, remnant into my plate. And by doing so, I uh, can now nest inside of this plate. And of course, I could use the cut by line tool to, to take a rem remove a section of that before if I would like to. So uh, that's been how to um, how to use the different types of nesting and tells a little bit about what each one of them can accomplish.